Game two of the Western Conference Finals. Phoenix already up one and before the game. That's 40% of the all WNBA team. Diana Taurasi and Kathy Pondexter. This is Lisa Leslie, and it could be her last game if she loses, but Leslie off to a fast start, as are the Sparks. They're up 10-4, then more Lisa Leslie inside. It's nice when you lose the ball to have Candace Parker on your team. She picks up the loose ball, knocks it down, and gets fouled. The Sparks off to a nice start. They're up by 20 in the second quarter. That's when Diana Taurasi gets involved from way outside, knocking down the three, cutting the lead to 17. Then how about the play of Kathy Pondexter? This step back three cuts the lead all the way down to 13 points, but this is Candace Parker, and these are fundamentals. Inside a lefty jump hook, knocks that one home, pushes the Sparks lead out to 14. Then a bit of controversy. Lisa Leslie picks up her fifth foul in the third quarter. She'd have to leave the game. The Sparks would have a tough time hanging on. Phoenix on the comeback trail. This Laco Willingham looking outside and finding Tangela Smith. Tangela Smith knows what to do from there. Knocks down the three, cuts the lead down to 11. Still at 11 points. Tangela Smith once again. Single digits now, 56 to 48. The Mercury on the comeback trail. They, all the time they talk about the big three in L.A. with the Sparks. How about Betty Lennox stepping up big off the bench, knocking that one home, pushing the lead out to 13. Then Lisa Les inside. She did not go quietly tonight. 20 points and six boards. That pushes the Sparks lead out further than finally one more time. It's Betty Lennox. 17 points off the bench for Lennox and Lisa Leslie and the Sparks live to fight another day.